Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Kenship Bright Wave Face Serum. This product retails for $45. I am beyond excited to try out this serum because I really love the Kenship Bright Wave Eye Cream. It was a very hydrating and brightening eye cream. It really worked great for my under eye area and this product seems to take the similar formula of that product but make it into a face serum and I love vitamin C serums so I'm beyond excited to try it. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlight ingredients in this product include a 10% concentration of vitamin C, collagen peptides, and red algae. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. So just looking at the ingredients, I did notice that olive oil was in this product, but it was fairly low on the ingredient list. I will just be curious to see if that is something that affects my personal use of this product because sometimes I am sensitive to olive oil and it causes me to break out. The big things I'll be looking for with the serum though are how does this product perform, what results do I see with it, and how does it feel on the skin? Those are all things that I feel like make a great vitamin C serum and so I will be interested to see how this product performs. As for anything else, I'll be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I've been using this product for three days and this is one of the most luxurious feeling vitamin C serums that I have ever tried. It has a very creamy and thick consistency but it's not overly hydrating or suffocating. A lot of the vitamin C serums that I've used have been very watery and very light and this takes a very moisturizing approach to it which is very similar to their vitamin C eye cream. This product is pretty much, I feel like that product but just in a serum form. I love that it matches the entire line. I'm excited that Kinship is starting to release like lines of product like this. The price point is just the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of, but if this product is showing great results and I'm loving the feel of it, then it will be a little bit more justified for me. So here is the texture of the product. As you can see, it is very thick and very creamy, but then it kind of blends into a lightweight gel and it just absorbs in the skin really nice. It does have a subtle smell to it, but I think it's just natural fruit enzymes. I don't think it's any added fragrance and it leaves a very hydrating look to the skin. Like I said though, it's not overly suffocating. I usually just take like three pumps. you can see there it gives a very subtle glow. I like it not just because it's a vitamin C serum, but it has such a great feel to it. I love that this product is so moisturizing and so hydrating, and it leaves a very subtle yet nice glow to the skin. I'm loving this product so far. I haven't seen any results with it, but I mean, it's only been a few days. I'm gonna continue using it and seeing if I notice those, and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So I feel like this vitamin C serum was great. I felt like that it was a very moisturizing option. I haven't really seen many vitamin C serums with this creamy and amazing moisturizing texture to it. Most vitamin C serums I find are very watery and so I did like this approach to it. I felt like that it was very in line with the performance of the eye cream. I saw some great brightening benefits just within the first couple of weeks of using it. The only thing about this product is the price point. That's the only thing that I'm just not the biggest fan of with this product. I know that it has some great ingredients in it that do justify the price point just a little bit more. And I feel like if you are looking for a very moisturizing vitamin C serum, then this would be a great option. I personally don't know of any cheaper alternatives to the feel of this product. All of the cheaper vitamin C serums I know are very watery. And so please let me know if there are cheaper alternatives to this. Right now, I personally haven't used any. And so that's why I would recommend this product. If you are looking for a more watery vitamin C serum, then the Inky List has a great vitamin C. I really enjoy that serum and it's very affordable, but it really just doesn't compare to the texture of this product. Also, the olive oil in this product was not a problem. I didn't experience any acne from this and I just really love the moisturizing feel to it. And so if you are looking for a more moisturizing,
moisturizing vitamin C serum. I would recommend this product, but if you are just looking for a cheaper vitamin C serum that is more watery, I do believe that the Inky List would be a better option. This product is great though, and personally, I would repurchase it because I really enjoyed the moisturizing feel of this product. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week. And I will see you all in the next review.